Hey. Hey. Good to How's see going? you. Aladdin. Katya, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. to Head Headquarters. Thank, yeah, we're so curious to know what's inside. Yes, let's yeah. go inside and figure out how we develop pedal rackets. Cool, cool. Let's go. Let's go. So this is the R&D office. In this office here, we are responsible to figure out what's the best combination. For example, we improve the drilling patterns, so how to drill and align the holes. We select different densities, stiffnesses of foam, different weights. Uh, we have different materials on the hitting surface to make it softer or stiffer to change performance in the end. So here I can explain to you the development process. So first, we always start with 3D modeling, which means we design the shape of the racket. Mm -hmm. You can see it down here. For sure, there are different geometries, different angles. To then visualize it, we have also the possibility to do a 3D print. Then we move on with simulations and calculations mm -hmm. to make also sure that the racket is strong enough. So that's what we are doing that's here. That's the sweet spot, right? Exactly, it's sweet spot. And what we are doing is we apply a certain load and we calculate the stress uh, to optimize and also the drilling patterns and to select the right material to make it strong enough so it's not breaking. Now let's head down to production. Hi Pasquale. Hi Katja. Hi Anna. Nice to meet you. Good, Good to see you here. Um, welcome to the pre-production section here. So here we can do prototyping. In one racket we have over 30 different pieces and the challenge is to put it together in the right way. So we always have a performance target. So Pasquale is asking for more power or control, a specific weight, a specific balance. And our job then here is to put the right materials and parts together to achieve that. So we can for sure use different types of foams. You can touch it. So there's different stiffness. Some are softer, some are stiffer. You have different materials here in the frame, but also on the hitting surface. It's also then changing for, for sure how the ball is coming off the hitting surface. And here you can also see the inside after molding. So this will later go in the oven to cure it out before it's very soft. But now after it's very stiff, so it has to go in the oven that it becomes like that. This one was already in the oven. It's cut through. And here you can see the foam is still very soft. Mm -hmm. To achieve that, it has to be in the oven at a lower temperature than in tennis and a longer time. Otherwise, we lose the performance of this foam. If we put it at a very high temperature, very quickly in the oven, it will be super hard. Yeah, well, this is the raw carbon fiber you have here. So let me show it to you. So that's a raw carbon fiber with 12K. 12K means that one tape has 12,000 fibers. It's very important to put the fibers in the right direction in the racket, because like you can see here, in this direction, I cannot break it, it's super strong. But in this direction, it's very easily to break it and to separate it. So when we engineer the racket, we have to make sure that we put different angles inside to make sure that it's not breaking. And this is also a big part. Uh, after we have these prototypes, we go on play testing, we go on durability testing, we do lab tests, right? A lot of things. But actually what's very interesting, once the racket is finalized like this, the racket is not final. I mean, this is the raw type, the prototype, yeah, right? It still doesn't and look like the final. It still doesn't people. look like a final, final racket. So the final racket is definitely missing the design, right? Yeah. And this is the part where I think we should go next. So Aladin, let me introduce you to hey, Toby, well, our hey. lead design and partner. Good All good? Mostly we focus on colors and our color blocking. Um, currently, we launched the speed line. Yeah. Um, that's a pretty cool uh, record. I say we were pretty brave introducing the copper color on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, as you see, we have also this nice effect that we have a, a glossy top and a matte bottom that makes it feel pretty premium. And also you can feel it, the difference. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, in general, in our design, we take a lot of care of our asymmetry. We mm -hmm. have a color block from top to bottom, um, following from our wishbone, the icon we use at head. Yeah, we first take a look around what we see everywhere in the industry. We mostly look on cars, of course, and bikes because they have a lot of color variation. Okay. We also take it from fashion, from shoes, uh, uh, yeah, from kind of everywhere. Um, here for the speed extreme, uh, again, you see these grayish, bluish gray color. That's a color we often see on cars at the moment. Yeah, uh, um, yeah we actually uh, painted it and tried it and we saw that super cool effect with the metallic. Uh, even in sunlight, it has this little shine on it. So um, this, for example, comes from a car. We um, finish up with the artwork and then our color codes and the colors we created to our factory. They produce it and then we send out the record to the players. It goes to all over the world. All over the world, to have cool. fun with it, enjoy it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you very much, Toby, for your time. Thank you. So guys, we were in head. We had a lot of fun. And please, if you need more information, head to totalpaddle.com and uh, see you later.